Hey guys, how we doing and welcome to my channel today. This is going to be card number 11 of my Halloween card series and today I'm using this paper pack from a uh, can company. It's called Halloween. So the paper pack that I end up using is this one and I also used the file from uh, pretty paper pretty ribbon dot uh, designs dot com or pretty paper pretty ribbon graphics dot com and I ended up getting two files from her and then I also used the Martha's, Martha Stewart holiday cakes the new uh, creepy creepy crawlers and um, there's one more cartridge of Cricut that I ended up using but um, I can't remember right off hand I don't have the cartridges in front of me because I put them away I finally came to the conclusion that since I have all of my uh, cartridges downloaded onto Design Space and also my Gypsy, just in case, um, it'll make no sense for me to keep the cartridges on the shelves to uh, take up room. So I just box them all up in a in a cart in a, one of those plastic containers. And oh my God, guys! I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight plastic containers full of just the cartridges. Oh. You never know how much you got till you start boxing stuff up. <laughs> but anyway, guys, let's get started. So this is my card base, and my card is a uh, five and a half by eleven, scored at five and a half. So this is going to be a five and a half by five and a half inch square card. Okay. So let's start decorating the inside now. For the inside, I already have it all put together. So I have the pattern paper. I have this purple uh, polka dot paper, and then the orange paper. And I'm just gonna adhere this in the middle. Um, and guys, excuse my nails. That's why they look so horrible because I've been boxing up a lot of stuff that, you know, just to make more room for, for me. Because a lot of times if you're like over cluttered, you can't really think. You really can. You can't create because you're so overwhelmed. So there goes the inside of my card. And for, for all the stamps that I end up using, it is... Uh, Scrappy Mom stamp set, and this one it is. Um, which one did I use? Friends like you are a special treat. Then I also used uh, my my creative time with Emma, and this one is Happy Halloween. And then I use this uh, Joy's Life Halloween puns, and I used uh, Best Friends for Eternity. And then for this right here and the Frankenstein, I used the Ink and Dick and Do stamp set. And it's this one right here. So there goes the bar, the Frankenstein, and the pumpkin. So there goes the inside, guys. Let's start decorating the outside. Now for the outside, I have my pattern paper, my orange cardstock, and then my purple, which this is basil paper, guys. As you can see, basil. And let me see if I could peel this off. And uh, this paper is amazing. And um, in Joann's, it wasn't Joann's, it was Michael's. One day they had to sign up six sheets for one dollar. Now these are 89 cents a piece and the eight and a half by 11. And they have the design of the polka dots embossed in it, which is really awesome. Well, these cost 89 cents a piece and they weren't on sale. But since they had the sign in front of the papers right here, they still gave it to me. And when they did that and I saw the sale six for a dollar, I ended up getting like eighteen dollars worth of paper. <laughs> so they had to give it to me all for six for a dollar. So um I got really lucky with that and I got all of the colors too. So here goes my my pattern and I'm just going to adhere this in the middle. And that looks good. Now I'm just going to adhere this to my card base. So I hope everyone's having an awesome Sunday. I'm doing really good. I'm a little overwhelmed, guys. But life goes on. Okay, so now I'm just going to add this to my card base. Just like that. 
Okay, and there goes my card. Now, I end up printing <clears throat> this green design on a piece of green cardstock to give it a darker color. And I like how this looks. It looks like it's textured, but it's not. So I'm going to adhere this to the bottom. And it's going to go on just like that. Now that I'm looking, I might want to cut just a tad bit off because I think it's a little bit too long. So let me get my cutter. And I think I can cut like about that much off. And I'll be alright. So let's see. Perfect. Okay. So now I'm just going to adhere this down. Yes, perfect. And you see how it looks, guys? It looks so cool. The grass looks textured. Okay, now the next thing is I end up cutting out this side tree and the moon. And I'm going to adhere it right here looking just like that. But I think it's going to look just like that. So let me get my quick dry. Adhere my tree down and then we could go on from there. So I'm gonna want the moon to be, and in order for you to find out exactly where you have to put the tree back down and see where you actually want it to go. And I think right there looks good. And then it looks good right there. So I'm gonna adhere that down. Then I'm gonna take my tree and I'm gonna add some glue. And I'm going to glue it right on top of the moon. Oh my god, guys. For those of you that are up north in North Carolina and South Carolina and, you know, Charleston. I hope you guys stay safe. Because this hurricane, and I thank God that it did not hit landfall, but it's really pouring down some rain. And a lot of people are losing a lot of stuff. They, Some people are losing their lives. I mean, it's just... It's just so horrible, guys. But, you know, you can't predict Mother Nature. She wants to do what she wants to do. Okay, and I think I want this up a little bit more. To go, like, right there. Okay. Now I'm just going to press down and it's going to adhere right on top. Look at how good that looks, guys. So I'm definitely praying for all you guys. Stay safe. Don't drive in your cars. Stay home. Okay. The next thing I want to do is add my house. Now on... I think it was holiday cakes or one of the Halloween cartridges I cut out this house and what I wanted to do was it only had one layer and this was like see-through so what I ended up doing was cutting another adding another layer a later another layer and what I did was I added a box on the bottom to hide this and I joined it to my shape so it could come out even just like the other shape so with this, I just want to add straight down. And I'm going to add it right up here. Just like that. Okay. Okay. The next thing I want to do, oh, before this go all the way down, I end up cutting out this street lamp and it has a spider web. And what I did, I cut two layers and I cut the insert layer on the inside and I wanted to uh, put it in between that to give it a flat edge. So I'm going to add my lamp like right here. 
Okay, so let me add some glue to that. Guys, do you hear the rain? Oh, I love to hear the rain, especially when it hits on an aluminum uh, roof. Oh my God, it's like awesome. And so, so beautiful. So I wanna add this right here, just like that, okay. Let me add some more glue to this. Okay, and that looks perfect right there. Then, in the files of pretty paper, pretty ribbon graphics.com, I end up cutting out these two. I cut out the Bride of Frankenstein and then Frankenstein, and I thought they came out cute. I kind of put his eyes in backwards because a lot of times when I'm putting these pieces together, I don't look at the picture, but Frankenstein don't got uh, regular sight eyes anyway. His eyes are crooked and backwards or something like that. So I figured, you know, it's Halloween. It's going to be perfect for me to do it. Like, I just leave it like that. So it came out really cute. So now I want to add her right down here. And she's saying, she got has her hand out like she's saying for the sentiment. Frankly, you're the best. And she's talking to Frankenstein. So let me add her some glue and then add her down okay Okay, so now I'm just going to add her right over here, just like that. And that looks good right there. Okay, then in Holiday Cakes, I end up cutting out this pumpkin. And I'm going to add the pumpkin right in front of her, but I want to pop this up. So let me get my scissors. And do some of that popping up. One, two, and three. And no, I just want to pop it up twice. Because on the other side, it's going to be layered over her. Just like that. And it won't be even. So let me add some glue to her. And then take the foam tape off. And then we're going to adhere this down. And that looks really good right there. Okay. Now, I have him popped up. And I want him to go right in front. Just like this. So now that I'm looking, I might have to take one of these phone tapes off the arm. And add some glue, depending. Let me see. And, yeah, that looks good right there. So... I have him popped up in the back and then I popped up his arm also to give it some dimension. So now I'm just going to take this foam tape off. I'm going to plot him down. And that is going to be card number 11 of my Halloween card series. So guys, I am loving this holiday, but I cannot wait for Christmas. Oh my God, my mind is just going crazy. Okay, so now I'm just going to take him. And I'm going to add him a little bit further down. Just like this. And that looks good right there. Put him down just a little bit. Excellent. So there goes my card, guys. It says, frankly, you're the best. Friends like you are special treats. Happy Halloween. Best friends for eternity. So, thank you so much for watching. I so hope do... Ah. 
I hope you enjoy my video. If you like this, please thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, press that red button, subscribe. You never know what I'm doing. It gives you notifications when I end up up uh when I upload a video. And I hope you guys enjoy. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.